Hey, it's James from Free Electrical. On today's episode, we're installing some electrics in this kitchen. So, I'm going to show you how we do it, show you how we install it. Let's get into this. Right then, this is the kitchen then. So, we'll show, show you what it's going to look like. It's got this little artist impression. So, let's try and line it up then. Let's see if we can bring it in. Look at that, that's exactly what you're looking at now. So we've got a few cupboards underneath, we've got a single oven, hob, microwave, a little floating microwave and extractor. So we'll have to get all that in. So we're gonna get power obviously up for this microwave, we'll have to leave that up top. There's a cupboard above there where we can hide the sockets for the microwave to plug in. And then we'll have to leave some cables out for the single oven and the hob. So in the back of one of these cupboards, we'll leave some cables out. <coughs> so for basically the kitchen gets plonked on top of our cables, We'll come in afterwards, and then there'll be a 45 amp isolator back of there for the for the hob, and then there will be other um, isolation points of the extractor and the single oven and the fridge, which is over here. So we've also got some down lights going in here, so not four down lights. So we'll have to take that, extend the cable to one, two, three, four. Yeah, we found out that yesterday, so we want these to land in front of the cupboards. So the cupboards will be like 300 mil cupboards depth. So I have to make sure, but sometimes you get a 600 mil, so you don't want to land your downlight above your cupboard, do you? So I have to come off there and then have your downlight start and then copy it all the way around so it's nice and equal. So yeah, we've got the downlights to go in then. So pitfalls then, so sometimes uh, you wire for your cables to go in the back of the cupboard and it ends up being a drawer. So you have to check with your kitchen company that it's not a drawer where your cupboard's gonna be, because you need a shelf for the socket to go underneath. Uh, and if you've got drawers, it doesn't actually fit because you push back, you're just going to hit your sockets. Look at this, I've got my, uh, I've got my James Bond laser level out. So that's going to line up for the top of the sockets all the way around. So I've got a mark for 1200. That's the best place for it. And I'm going to mark out these sockets here. So I'll mark these out, get a metal back box, draw around it, and then we can get those metal back boxes chopped in. And it's just a case of wiring then. So they're not going to want a socket at a high level here. So these cables basically come up here on an angle. So when you run cables, you're supposed to go vertical and horizontal, not diagonal. <laughs> so that, that, those are those cables there, just going off at a nice angle. So we'll have to disconnect those back to here and then run these along then. So these are gonna be cupboards anyway, out 600. So we can just come across along the floor and just chase straight up then to a socket. Out of there then, we're also gonna chase up, bring these back down extend the ring up into this socket. Then we might do a sideways chase then. So let's chase across to this one, chase across to this one, and then that'll be the sockets complete. So let's crack on with that then. Let's get these boxes marked out and we'll get it wired. Take these measurements then and make sure it doesn't land right next to this hob then. So it's gonna be pretty tight to be fair. I'm gonna sock it in the air. So I'm gonna try and get it over to this edge so you've got as much gap away from the hob as possible. So I'll have to measure this out, make sure that lands in the right place. Obviously we've just marked out exactly where the customer wants it. Because uh, the customer what the customer wants is uh, what the customer gets unless it goes against regulation. So we'll just have to check that. These should be fine, so socket here and socket here, all, all these should be fine. So again, we'll check this one's um, equal distance away and enough distance away from the hob as well. So then, let's get chopping. Fits in nice and perfect, nice and flush. It's way behind the plaster. So once that fits fixed back, yeah, we'll level to the lugs. But yeah, that's that box done. Two, three, and four. Obviously, the hob's going to sit in the middle there. So it's going to go nicely. So what we're going to do then? Obviously, we're going to bring the ring, extend the ring up here. The units are going to come back to here then. So there'll be a, at 900. There'll be a base unit here. So we can literally just chase into the wall straight up into this socket. 
chest sideways, chest sideways, and all the way back. So that'll be that. So, and then for this side, we'll do the same again, chest straight down and up. So that'll be that, and then we'll obviously leave, leave a few legs out ready to power up all the appliances. So the only cupboard we've got is this section here. So that's going to do the uh, what's that going to do? That's going to do the single oven. Try and remember off the top of my head. Single oven, and then obviously the fridge. We're not going to be able to. The freestanding fridge, we might have to put a socket here, low level, so you can just plug in and push back. But if they want it to push all the way back, well, what we'll have to do is just leave a socket under there, which will isolate from over there. So that's what we're going to do then. So, but yeah, if you've got no drawers, you got. If it's, sorry, if it's only drawers and there's no cupboards with shelves in, you're, uh, you're kind of stuck, really. But yeah, that's the plan then. So let's get this uh, chopped out again. We'll extend the cables and then we'll show you what we've done. So that's this side wire then, so we've got this cable in, so it goes up that zone there, along here. Uh, it goes up to this microwave socket, that'll also do the extractor then, I thought that would be the easiest bit. And then straight through here to this socket then, so they're nice and easy. So all this comes down here, I know we're going to have a little tidy, a bit messy messy at the moment. But yeah, that's the existing ring then, so that'll attach on. So if you look there then, extend the ring on that side. So basically, the, the, the sockets are wired as a ring, so it wires from the fuse board all the way around and back. So that's what this is, that's just one one all the way around. And then what we've done then, we're going to eventually chop that ring. So you'll have like a, a circle here, and we'll chop that, and then we'll have another circle, another ring, which is which is uh, that cable all the way around and back. And then we'll attach all to new, all to new, and then you'll end up with a bigger ring. So that's for that. So eventually we'll extend the ring, so we'll attach that to that, that to that one, and then it'll be a ring still. But then we've got a spur off for a boiler. So the boiler came through the wall over there. So what we've got to do then is just bring that down here. So we've still got a boiler powered up and so we've got heating temp uh, whilst the kitchen's being done. So then we'll leave, just leave this underneath. We'll put a little, a little task on the job to say that this is the connection the point for that. So we'll get all this tidied up. And then for this side, then we're gonna do the same extend the ring so this is the ring but this time we're going to send a cable from here out for this cupboard back up the wall and then back and then do the same thing so just tape it next to it and just uh, when it comes to it we'll split that extend the ring and then get it in a little wago box tuck it underneath jobs are good and that's the sockets done so we've also got some lighting to do in here then so in here then i think there is just live and uh, neutral so we can do this i'm at all enough I am tall enough. There we go. So live neutral earth. If you can see that. There we go. So what we're gonna have to do then? The ceilings on here, they've, they've just battened off. So there's a tiny gap. We're gonna try and fit it in. I think it's concrete ceiling, so we could fit the slim profile down lights. So what we're gonna have to do for now then is get that cable then, extend it. We'll have to make loads of. So if there's loads of battens across the room, we'll have to make some discs down the room and only. Uh, get your down light cut in, down light cut in, down light cut in, down light cut in, and then get this cable to wire in and out using a, a one mil twin and earth cable. But for the first one, what we'll do is just wire this back up so they've got a bit of light at least. So this will be dangling somewhere in one of the holes, and uh, all the down lights will get wired when we come do the second fix. We have a light again, so now yeah, we've extended that then. Picked it from there, picked up these, picked up that, uh, but we went here first then. So, as your first leg in, powered up. So obviously we'll bring that into his down light, and then you know, down lights to make them all come on. But at least we've got a bit of light now, so it does get a bit darker. We're getting into winter, like they can see there. Looking after the kitchen fitters and the plasterers. There we go, top electrician. And we've got more diagonal chasers. Oh, I don't know, shocking, shocking, they call it work. Back in the day, pre-2005. If it works, it works for me. All right, so we're just gonna get that cable then, extend it down through one of these zones to where the isolation point's gonna go for the hob. And that is about it then. So we'll have that, and then obviously we've got this, this section still to wire. We explained how we did that, extending that ring. And I think that's about it. So we'll get those two cables in, and that'll be this kitchen done. So, and then hopefully it'll be me back the second fix and you get to see what it's gonna look like. Obviously you've seen the iced impression, but it's always nice seeing in real life. And we're done. So we've got that cable in then. So let's have a look then. All the, all the lights are wired, we've got a few little holes. We left a disc then for the plaster, so the plaster's gonna use them to patch it back in as requested. It's got a 
got some cables hanging out here then so that'll just get put to the back of the units and they'll get brought in afterwards so we're going to take some pictures of these and right on the job so the next engineer if it's me or one of my lads they'll know what to do i should put extend ring extend ring and that'll obviously just power up that socket and this so i'm going to tuck that back now yeah and that's about it nice and neat everything's being hovered and uh, that's about yeah that's how you should leave a job then so all the cables are tucked in the back for the plasterers that's popped out but yeah that's about it so a bit of a nightmare trying to get that six mil in so we've had to basically just join it there because we can't put a box anywhere else so that joint is way good and within a six inch zone and it comes down round and in that's the best we can do how else can you do it let me know in the comments below if there's a better option the ceilings if you look there's not a lot of gap there that's your gap you've got about that much gap so you can't even fit a box in the ceiling and the plaster don't want more holes than he needs <laughs> yeah that's about it so that's this kitchen done then let's get a let's have another reminder of what it looked like i've lost my phone there we go that's another reminder of what it's going to look like then so we've got a little fridge here then single oven hob microwave floating above the extractor will get will come along the top of the cupboards there and actually get get sorted and then let's make sure we don't see no uh, and then this side then that's going to be what it's going to look like here it's a nice little sink unit and there we go it's looking great so there we go that's us done for today then so if you like this kind of content hit the like button hit subscribe hit the little bell notification so you know when we next upload as always have a good one from me and we'll see you on the next one